Premier Play Path. Last month, they announced the return of the Pro Tour and high-level tabletop play. If you're watching this live or on YouTube, there is a separate reaction video to this when it happened. Look for last month. Uh, I did a summary of that. If you haven't already read about the tabletop Premier Play Path, now we have new opportunities for Magic Arena and Magic Online. MTG Arena Premier Play in 2022. Much of public gaming around the world closed down in 2020. Magic Arena became the most practical ways for players to engage with Magic. With the return of the Pro Tour and high-level tabletop play, Arena has an opportunity to update its role in the Premier Play system while offering unique events to digital players. Earn your spot in qualifier weekends through ranked play or play in events. Qualify for the MTG Arena Championships or Pro Tour. There are separate 32-player Arena Championships every four months with a $200,000 prize pool. Welcome to the Arena Championships. The new top rung of MTG Arena competitive track is the Arena Championships. Arena Championships will happen three times per year, just like the Pro Tour. Each championship will feature 32 players determined by four months worth of competitive ladder and event play. The Arena Championships mark the pinnacle of Arena. Those players will also be competing in the Magic World Championships. Each of the three winners and three runners-up of Arena Championships will go to Worlds. How do you qualify for the Arena Championships? All right, Qualifier Weekend out with the old and with the new. I can only assume that Qualifier Weekend out with the old, in with the new means that when I click learn more inside the Magic Arena client, it's no longer going to take me to an article from February 2020 and will instead link to this or something similar. Many elements in the Qualifier Weekend's Arena will be recognizable, but the details and stakes are changing. Players will earn their spots and Qualify Weekends through two paths, ladder play and event play. There will be four Qualifier Weekends, each feeding into the Arena Championships. The Qualifier weekend, weekend will consist of two days of best of three matches in a shared format. Players try to reach seven match wins before taking two losses on each day, competing for the following. Players win up to 20,000 gems and prizes day one, with those who reach seven wins also continuing to day two. Players who get seven match wins during day two qualify for the Arena Championship. This is an effect starting for the very next Arena Qualifier Weekend taking place May 28 and 29. After all Qualifier Weekends that feed into the Championships are complete, additional players will be invited to bring the event to 32 competitors. The remaining invitations will go to players the most total match wins contributing to qualifiers. Okay, so this is... This is interesting. So they're expecting to have few enough players in the qualifier weekends that they won't have 32 from just two seven two cuts. Is I wonder I wonder if that'll be the case. I wonder what that says about can so, can someone do so, someone who has the time, someone do the math and figure out What's the number of players required to mean that two two seven two cuts? It's not four x seven two cuts. So day day one is a seven two cut, and then players who win seven matches during day two qualify for the arena championship. So there's two years two days. Day one, and then and then day two. No, it's saying there's. The qualifier, I assume this is going to be qualifier, single qualifier weekends. There's four of these? Wait, are there still, are these going to be monthly? Does it say these are monthly? There will be four qualifier weekends feeding each championship. Oh, oh, it does. It does say four here. Okay, sorry. I, I'm in my brain, I thought four championships. There's three championships every, one every four months. Okay, so yeah, this, yeah, I wonder... Yeah, for well no, so 
there's four chances to do two seven two cuts. Yeah, like I don't I don't understand how this math is gonna work out. Like, do they really have that few people playing Magic Arena that they think like are there are there that few people playing in these things? There's gonna be four weekends where you go seven two on both days. All right, I guess yeah. How do you how do you get into the qualifier weekends? Maybe maybe uh, maybe the the qualifier weekends are harder to get into now. Oh. <sighs> Okay, these are prizes for the qualifier weekends. Players, let, let's let's read this. Maybe this explains it. It's probably going to be harder to get into. As mentioned, players must earn their entry to a qualifier weekend. There are now two paths to get there. The first new path is the qualifier play in event. This is an open event that allows players to earn their th their seat through a single session of focus play rather than a month-long ladder climb. Each month will have two qualifier play-in opportunities. A single-day best-of-one qualifier takes place one week before the qualifier weekend. Players need to reach six wins before two losses to advance. A single day best of three qualifier weekend where players need to reach four wins before taking one loss to advance. So you have to 4-0 if you don't want to play the ladder. So you can go six, you have to go six and one in best of one or four and oh in best of three. Players can enter a qualifier play-in with 20,000 gold or 4,000 gems. Uh, gems are a dollar for 200, right? So this is a $20 entry fee. Or by collecting 20 play-in points from regular events on Magic Arena. Okay. Okay. What's a what's a play in point? Beginning with release of Streets of New Capenna. Go back up. Did I miss play in points? It said it right after I highlighted it. Did it? Where? It's, so it says they're from events. From regular events. Yeah, I, I read that, but where does it say what the ratio is, chat? I'm trying to read. I want to I wanna know what that structure is. So I, I read that. Which is a maximum number of wins in any evergreen constructed event or traditional draft now awards play-in points in addition to... For structure, see, yeah, it doesn't actually say it here, chat. It says go down. That's what it, that's what I was scrolling for, chat. Stop telling me I skipped it. I didn't skip it. I'm getting getting there, chat. I want the actual numbers. I understand where they're coming from. I want to know what the numbers are. Okay, beginning with the release of Streets of New Capetta, Evergreen constructed events for all permanent arena formats have updated structures that incorporate play-in points so that players can use these events to enter the competitive path. They also now both have higher entry fees and rewards that replace the previous gold and ICRs with gems and packs. These changes are intended to let players build their collections through constructed play more reliably. Okay, so... Best of one is a 2,500 gold or $2 entry fee. Best of three is 5,000 gold or $4 entry fee. And what's the, are these going to work the same as before? Can you have losses in these or do you have to go XO? 
You actually have to go undefeated in best of three to get play-in points. It says event length five matches. Right? Am I am I reading this correctly? You get no losses in the best of three event? You lose and you're done? Alright, do you but you is it like a is it like a moto league where you get to play five matches, you stay in the event, but you can't get points? Okay. So if you if you take a loss you don't get the play-in points for the bigger thing, but you can go four wins and come out ahead because you get two packs and 800 gems. These are, these are moto leagues basically now. You can, you can turn a profit farming these if you're good. If you're winning, if you're winning 80%, it's, you can't go three, two and break even though. So there's no, there's no real break. I don't, I'm not a fan of this structure compared to Moto. Like I, I would prefer if they would have structured this closer to Magic Online. I think, I think in my opinion, they shouldn't give you a second booster pack until four wins. And this should be your 750 gems back with with two with one pack this should this should be 300 gems one pack this should be 750 gems one pack yeah but like take for instance someone like me chat i these booster packs are worthless to someone with a with a collection right so like i like this here three two is just like strictly losing losing value right which is unfortunate yeah these these boosters are basically worth worth 20 gems i would i would like it if this was structured a little better funnily enough it's much better for best of one is it so best of one if you go 5-3, you turn a profit? Wow, that is, that is better, isn't it? What's the, what's the quick maths on that? So 5, you turn a profit going 5 out of 8. So if you win 62% of your games in best of 1 you turn a profit, but if you win 60%, I didn't need to do a fraction there. If you do 60% in this, you, you come out behind. Chat, this is, this is not break even, chat. If you are not getting enough currency to re-enter the event, you have not broken even. Just full, full, full stop. If you if you if you can't re-enter the event with the prizes you got out of it, that's not breaking even. You're getting you're getting a pack. And if you're someone that has a collection, this pack is worth 20 gems. So four four three is 320 gems for your 375 gem entry fee. It is, it is that being said, it is still better to play best of one. Because best of one with a 62% win rate, a 62% win rate in best of one means you come out ahead. You need an 80% win rate in best of three to come out ahead. 62% is significantly lower than 80%. Now, people are accurately pointing out that four play play in points is cheaper than one play in point. And now, what is the value of a play in point? Well, if you look above, it was it was what twenty thousand or two thousand gems, or twenty play in points to get it. Where was it? I'm missing it. Yeah, two, four. Sorry, four thousand gems, or twenty play in points. So if you five o. Oh, five of these leagues 
you get to skip the 4,000 gem entry fee. Yeah, you need 20 to get into the weekend. So one, one point is about 200 gems is the, the expected value. Also, you also get them for drafting, it looks like. You get two play-in points for 3-0 in draft. Uh, it doesn't say they expire. Frequently asked questions. Maybe there's stuff in the FAQ. You need to be 18 or older, chat. So that means if you're someone who's 16 or 17, don't play in these events and then cry that you couldn't qualify because it was unfair because you're not 18. You should know that you were 18 going in. <laughs> we will announce the prize breakdown of the first arena championship when we get closer. Sure. Set championships are sunsetted. Will there be a travel stipend if I qualify for the Pro Tour or World Championship through the Arena Championship? No. This is, I like, I like how this is such a lawyer speak answer. Will there be a travel stipend if I qualify? The Arena Championship has a $200,000 prize pool, not a specific amount set aside for prizes. No. This is, just delete this sentence and write the word no. <laughs> Players must be 18 to play in all premier play systems. The events involve best of three matches that can take a considerable amount of time. The limited window to join ensures that players finish their matches. Sure. It's timing questions. Play events are up for 24 hours. There is no plan for play-in points to expire. Should this event series end in the future, time will be given for players to use any remaining points or they'll be converted. Okay, so this is this is what we this is what we asked, chat. Will they will they expire? They will not. Good. Cool. All right, so it doesn't look like they announced anything about the new format let's just double check maybe that's coming in their stream later today I confirm that the new format will be on stream okay That's